and welcome to the UAC Activities Fair. You can click through and see all of the different organizations and involvement opportunities on campus. If you have any questions, feel free to stop by 206 or send me an email at molly.kinder at utah.edu. Thanks! Hello and welcome to the activities fair, the portion about campus clubs and getting involved. So with campus clubs, you're going to come to getinvolved.utah.edu and you'll log in with your UN ID and password. So once you're at Get Involved, you can click on organizations here. And what that will do is take you to a list of organizations. Now, one thing you'll notice is that there are 529. Well, that is because this also lists the Salt Lake City campus. So what you want to do is select the Utah Asia campus, and that will give you all of the clubs that are currently active at the University of Utah Asia campus. So you can click through and see all the different clubs that we have, and you can click on them and see how to get involved. They'll have a short bio, they'll list out some of the officers, and then you can contact the officers on how to get involved. So if you click join, that will just give you access to this page on Campus Connect. But what you want to do is you want to contact the president or officers directly and see how to get involved. Now, if you're interested in starting your own club at the UAC, what you can do is do new club registration. So with that, that's going to be August 30th through September 19th. How to start a new club at the UAC. All you need is three members that are full-time students at the Utah Asia campus. What you're gonna do is you're gonna fill out an application on Campus Connect. So with that, you can either scan the QR code on the posters around campus, or you can come back here to Campus Connect. And if you go to Organizations, you click Register an Organization, and you're going to click register a new organization right down here. With that, you'll fill out an application with your information about your club, a constitution, and the members of your club. Once you've done that, you'll receive an email from me saying that you need to meet to go over club training. This will be a 30 minute meeting. We'll talk through your constitution, your club training, and kind of how to be a club at the UAC. After that, you'll receive a link to complete the bystander intervention training. So three members of your club need to complete the bystander intervention training. You'll receive this link once you've completed the following two steps. It's a quick training, takes maybe 20 minutes, um, but if you have any questions, you can always contact me at molly.kinder at utah.edu. But for clubs and club information, the best place to go is going to be Campus Connect. That's going to be your one-stop shop for finding clubs. Like I said, if you have any questions, stop by and visit me in U206 or send me an email at molly.kinder at utah.edu. Thanks! Hello everyone. Welcome to the University of Utah Asia Campus Student Council introduction video. Student Council, as stated on the Constitution, act as an official representative organization for students at the University of Utah Asia campus. We voice the students' needs and concerns to the administration, faculty, and staff. We also organize various activities at UAC to promote effective student leadership and resource efficiency. The Student Council is run by students and consists of nine positions with varying tasks and roles. Let me introduce our new student council members for the upcoming fall semester of 2021. The executive members, which includes the student body president, vice president, and chief of staff, has several responsibilities. They are the face of our school and should serve as the student's ear and mouth. They should be the student's initial point of contact and should have first-hand understanding of our students' concerns. Each of the major representative is a literal representation of their respective majors. We have significant representatives in psychology, communication, film and media arts, civil engineering, and urban ecology. While they all have shared obligations as major representatives, they each have their own distinct goals to attain as major representatives. They collect the thoughts of their major students and serve as a link between the student council and the student body. 
they are crucial positions within the student council because the executive members cannot represent all the students at the same time. The student council would not be able to function without them. Students come to university to study in depth, but it is also necessary to have leisure time to renew your mind. As a result, the event and PR director is in responsible of planning and coordinating events. Our students, like the majority of other university students, are concerned about their career development, which includes extracurricular activities and competitions. The career director's job is to engage with the student council and serve as a link between them and the Career and Internship Development Center, or CIDC for short. The student council should have a volunteer mindset, but they also have many benefits. The member is given the scholarships and the cool letterman jackets. Being a member of the student council can also be a good way to improve one's leadership skills, while also broadening one's personal relationships. Student council develops citizens who are communicative, responsible, and compassionate. These characteristics lay the groundwork for students to become influential leaders in the future, and, ultimately, society. and welcome to the University Programming Council, or UPC. So today I'm gonna to tell you a little bit about what UPC does. So UPC is a six member team made up of student leaders on campus. So what UPC does is they host campus-wide events for students, faculty, and staff across campus. Some of the events that they've hosted in the past are a haunted house for Halloween, a white Christmas event, gratitude events, as well as UAC major day and UAC sports days. So there's lots of different opportunities to get involved and attend the different UPC events. One of the great things about being a part of UPC is that you really get to build leadership skills and get involved on campus. So if you're interested in planning different events for your community, this is a great opportunity. You can find the different UPC events by reading the Monday morning memo or looking for posters around campus. Another great thing about being involved with UPC is that you get an experiential learning scholarship. All UPC members work about eight hours a week in order to host and plan the different events on campus. If you have any questions, you can always contact the UPC director, Wan Zhang, who you're going to hear from now. Welcome to you. It's so nice to meet you all. My name is Wan Zhang, the director of UPC. What's the thing that you expect the most from our campus life? It might be the events and festivals. And we are the one working for this. UPC is here to give you guys happiest memories at UAC. If you are expecting the Halloween event and White Christmas event, please keep your eyes on us. You can visit our Instagram, UPC under by UAC, to get more information about us. Also, feel free to send us a direct message if you have any inquiries on the events. Hello, my name is Lauren Poindexter. I'm the program coordinator for Residence Life and New Student Programs. Today, I would like to talk to you about the position of resident advisor. So resident advisors are student leaders who live in the dormitory and are responsible for a group of residents who live on their own residential floor. So what do they actually do? Most of their job consists of programming, so providing programs to their residents. They build relationships with their residents to help their residents deal with any issues that might come up on the floor, and they take responsibility. So they are on call about 12 times throughout the semester, answering any questions or major concerns that might arise in the dormitory. What do they do? I mentioned programming, so they'll host movie nights, they may do different cultural celebrations to build some cross-cultural knowledge in the dormitory. They often do giveaways, so things like midterm treats or final treats or just care packages or something like that. How would you get involved if you wanted to be a resident advisor? You can ask your own RA about their job duty. 
We are also starting a hall council this fall 2021 semester, so check your email for more information regarding that. The best way to get involved truly is to just ask the responsible folks around you about how to learn more and do more in the dormitory. So, if you have any questions, you can visit me, Lauren, in U206 to learn more information. Next, I want to just highlight some brief words from a former resident advisor, Theo. So why should you be an RA? To highlight a quote, uh, I wanted to make me and other students' dorm life to be as meaningful and memorable as possible. You have a great sphere of influence as an RA, and so if you're looking for a position where you can meet others, help others, and support others, being an RA might be the position for you. And what can you learn? I think the key thing you can learn is responsibility. Theo mentions that during this COVID-19 crisis, she had to update and change a lot of her plans, but the key was to take responsibility, which led her to a greater understanding of the RA position. So again, if you have any questions or thoughts about being a resident advisor, please come talk to me, Lauren and U206, or the best resource might be your own resident advisor on your floor. Thank you so much and I hope to see you soon. Hello everyone, thank you for watching that epic video on our international student diplomats. My name is Anna and I am the staff advisor for this group of student leaders. My office is located in the second floor in room U206 in the Utah building. It's in the Student Leadership and Involvement Center and my official title is International Programs Coordinator. So just wanted to take this moment to provide you with some more details and more information about this program. If I don't answer your questions here, you're always more than welcome to contact me via email. So about the International Student Diplomats, their primary purpose is to support our international students' adjustment to the UAC and Korea. As you can imagine, arriving in a new country can be really scary, it can even be intimidating. So our diplomat's job is to provide our incoming international students with that local and regional expertise as well as resources. And they're also here to help forge those connections between our domestic students and our international students. The type of tasks that international student diplomats are involved in may include things like giving our international students tours at the beginning of the semester, helping our students learn about public transportation or where to locate getting a team money card. And they're also tasked with planning social events and more. Diplomats are also tasked with providing cultural programs on campus and helping our UAC students learn more about Korea. While we've not been able to go on field trips for the past year and a half due to COVID-19, the hope is that in the future, we'll be able to go on cultural excursions and introduce our students to regions outside of Incheon. In the meantime, we try to bring Korean culture to campus by planning events like our Taekwondo Showcase or the Korean Street Food event. Our ISDs are also tasked with planning our annual Chuseok holiday dinner. If you're curious about the International Student Diplomats organizational structure, each international student diplomat is, of course, considered a student leader, but we do have two specific positions that work closely with me to help facilitate the program. 
because I'm still learning about Korean culture. I do have, I work closely with our student assistant of cultural excursions, and that person serves as our cultural gatekeeper and helps our team plan events that introduce our international students to Korean culture. Our other position is the assistant of social engagement, and that person is tasked with leading the planning on social events that are geared towards both domestic and international students. About compensation, ISDs are expected to work about 75 hours per semester, and they are paid $10 an hour through a student experiential learning scholarship. Being a part of the International Student Diplomat program is a great opportunity to develop your intercultural skills and your leadership skills, and it's the perfect program for those who want to contribute meaningfully to the UAC community. Again, for questions, please don't hesitate to contact me, and I'm always happy to put you in touch with other students who are part of this program. Leadership consultants are responsible for planning and conducting various campus programs and events. Leadership consultants have a group meeting once a week to share our opinion about the event with team members. In addition, in the bi-weekly one-on-one meeting with the professor, we freely talk about the progress of each event and where we need help. Leadership consultants are one of UAC's leadership positions, so we have to take responsibility for the event and strive to increase students' participation and satisfaction in the event. Leadership consultants can be divided into two main types of events. The first is on educational events. Examples of these are Pride Week, Sex Week, and Cafe U. Pride Week is on LGBTQ Dems Week, which hosted events such as drag queen makeup events and movie night in last semester. In Sex Week, we hosted events of body positivity dance workshop and various educational lectures that could learn about the right sex behavior. Finally, Cafe U is on events where students freely share their opinion and share them with each other students on that topic. The second type is an event for students' enjoyment. In the midst of student university life, there were many fun events to relieve their stress, such as making slime, playing video games, eating snacks, or doing raffle. Except these events, there are so many campus events and activities that leadership consultant hosted. While I was in university, I wanted to do more meaningful activities than just taking classes and doing assignments. I thought such a special and meaningful activity was a leadership consultant, so I joined it. Also, I was able to feel proud because I felt like I was creating a leisure time to enjoy the events in the busy university life of students through our events and activities as a leadership consultant. So I choose to get involved with the leadership consultant. Hello, my name is Lauren Poindexter, Program Coordinator for Residence Life and New Student Programs. Today, I would like to talk to you about orientation leaders. Orientation leaders are student leaders whose main priority is to help meet and connect our new students. Orientation leaders work on orientation day to provide group activities and programs like a campus tour. They also provide monthly programs for their small orientation group of about 10 to 12 students. And they additionally host monthly events like a game night, a trivia night, or a speed meeting, speed networking type event. If you would like to get involved as an orientation leader, new students can reach out to their own orientation leader to ask about their experience, any challenges, rewards, or benefits. You can also visit me, Lauren, in U206 to learn more information and ask questions. I would like you to hear from a current orientation leader, Young Wu, about his experience. So he found that being an orientation leader gave him the opportunity to bridge new students to new friends and help them find a lot of successful tips for being a student at the UAsia campus. 
Uh, so those are his reasons for being an orientation leader, and we find that similar for most of our other OLs. But generally, why should you try out school events and school employment? Mostly, it's an opportunity to make new friends. It also gives you skills in event planning and management. And these are transferable skills that can help you further in your career, uh, giving you more experiences than you could possibly ever expect from school employment. So again, my name is Lauren. Please come see me in U206 if you do have any questions about the orientation leader position. Thank you, and I hope to see you soon. Hi everyone, I'm here to introduce the peer advisor organization for this virtual activity fair. My name is Kyuhi Han. I worked as a communication peer advisor for fall 2020 and spring 2021, and also as a summer intern at the advising center last vacation. I also had the opportunity to become the team leader for the PR marketing team of my organization last semester. I am so excited and grateful to share my experiences as a peer advisor for today. Before I start, here is the brief information for the office we represent, which is the Academic Advising Center. It is located on the second floor room 202, so always feel free to visit us whenever you have academic questions. So let's start. Who are we and what do we do? Peer advisors support our peers' academic development and achievement. We especially help new students adjust to their campus life by guiding them in registration, course planning, as well as providing useful major information. As a peer advisor, we also have several roles and responsibilities. First, of course, we provide important academic information to new students. And as we have our respective office hours at the Academic Advising Center, we manage walk-ins and advising appointments, answer phone calls or emails regarding academics, are responsible for on-campus academic events, and lastly, we assist our major departments and faculty members. For more details, our organization is also divided into two groups, the event planning team and the PR marketing team. We all have identical roles and responsibilities as stated on the left, but a small difference would be that the event planning team focuses more on planning um, academic events, conducting student surveys, while the PR marketing team focuses on promoting the events and managing the official Instagram of the Academic Advising Center. As a peer advisor organization, here are the main events that we hold every semester. First, major info session. This is usually held at the beginning of the semester to provide important academic information to new students. Peer advisors with the same major work together to prepare and present the contents. Next, we have our major minor day. We invite faculty members to join this event to introduce our different majors and minors to students. Each major or minor has their own booth, and as you can see from the pictures, we had a great time meeting and talking with enthusiastic students and communicating with our professors. Next, sadly due to COVID, it is held virtually for this semester, but here are some photos to show you guys how it was preceded last spring. We had our own booth as a peer advisor organization, and we prepared fun academic quizzes and treats for students. Our booth was quite popular, and we had a wonderful time meeting new students and playing fun games with them. Lastly, we have our treat day. Every start of the semester, or special occasions like Halloween or Christmas, and of course, during our final weeks, we prepare free snacks and gifts for all UAC students to take a break from the work and provide some happiness. So from all these roles, responsibilities, and main events that we have hold, there are so much to learn and a lot of benefits as well. Of course, the biggest benefit is being of great help to our students, 
but we also are provided with learning and growth opportunities for ourselves. First, by giving presentations in front of students and helping them when they are in need, our leadership and communication skills are bound to be improved. Also, by working our fellow peer advisors together as a team, we enhance collaborative skills, and we establish intimate and positive relationships with the academic advisors and our major's faculty. All of these activities and experiences of being a peer advisor provide great talking points to include in interviews, resume, and job applications. And lastly, being a peer advisor is also becoming more actively engaged at the UAC community. So, a big question at this point: What have I learned from my experience? Well, to be a hundred percent honest. Being a peer advisor was indeed one of the best things I have ever accomplished since my admission to the UAC. Having the great opportunity to help students when they are lost, meeting new people, or simply having fun with many students definitely made me a better person. And also, I cannot forget my fellow peer advisors whom I worked together with. They were the people who I could count on. And they made me feel this sense of belonging in the UAC community, so I am very thankful for them. And lastly, of course, my dearest advisors Heidi and Alexis. Being a team leader, I always had this heavy responsibility to be of help to my team, and my advisors guided me to the right path whenever I felt lost. I have learned so much from them, not to mention academic policies, of course. But also received lifetime advice that are useful to apply in my future and become a better person. Finally, here we have last two questions: Why did I choose to get involved in campus, and why you should get involved in campus? Well, I personally thought that a university campus life, it does not come back again, and I should use my time wisely here. So I thought the best way to do that is to get involved and engaged in the UAC community, and that made me feel more proud of my position and my accomplishments for my school. This is why I recommend students to consider getting involved in our community, and you will definitely have a great experience and learn so much from these campus positions. Students are always welcome to be a part of peer advisor organization, so look out for recruitments that will be posted every middle to end semesters through UAC group chat, email, and handshake. Please note that peer advisors can be recruited by major, so do check the notices thoroughly. Thank you, everyone, for taking your time listening. I hope to see you guys as future peer advisors. Bye. Thank you.